All right. Okay, so I'll call this meeting to order, and we have the minutes of December 29th, uh, the select board meeting and the budget work session. I'll move that the uh, minutes of the uh, select board meeting and the uh, budget meeting be adopted. I'll for December that. the 9th. Is, is, uh, what date is it? December, December 29th. 29th. I'll second that. Okay, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 We have warrants 15 and the payroll 15P. What would you like to do? I'll make a motion to approve bills for payment warrants 15 and 15P. I'll, I'll second that. Okay, any discussion? Uh, warrant 15 is for $27,797.57. And that went towards uh, sand from the carpenter pit fuel for the uh, highway department. Uh, our rescue uh, payment, monthly payment, uh, health insurance, payroll transfers, and the quarterly payment to the Wyndham Solid Waste Management District. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, uh, let's see. Recognition of visitors and public comments. Would anyone like to speak to any issue that's not on the agenda? Yes. Um, I just wanted to follow would you, up. Would you let us know who you are? Oh, yes, uh, Christoph Gagne. Um, I just wanted to follow up with the uh, Nomas Polymigras movement and its petition. Uh, we submitted the signatures this week. Many others were helping, dozens of people. Um, so big thanks to them. Uh, but we submitted 100, 137 signatures mm -hmm. um, for the non-binding referendum to uh, recommend that the sheriff adopt these fair policies. Yes, sir. I just wanted to check in and say that we had, we had submitted that. We're going to review. Yes, we perceived yeah. it. Great. Uh, the town clerk, you know, the processes goes to the town clerk. She certifies that. You know, these are all Dummerston residents that signed, and she's done that, and now it's in our uh, inbox. Great. So we're going to be uh, discussing articles and the budget. We'll probably finalize everything and vote on everything um, next week at a special meeting. So we're still waiting on one budget item, and I don't think the deadline for petitions for has tomorrow. 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 Yeah, yeah, so we can't technically approve everything until the deadline. So we'll, we'll meet again next week for that. Thanks. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Let's see, the road foreman's report. Uh, Lee Chamberlain, our road foreman, is here. And we have one bid for uh, a new truck for the next fiscal year. Would you like to? Sure, <laughs> I will do yeah. the, yeah. I'll I'll do the, the honors. Do the honors. Yes. <laughs> and we're just going to open this. We may have another bid coming in. Okay, so uh, this is a bid um, from Face Toyota Ford uh, for the F550 four-wheel drive, regular cab, DRW, um, and it is for $95,242. Um, and so it, there's a little bit of a breakdown. Um, Faith's price is $58,508. Uh, the pro slash doc fee is $599. The title is $35. The trade allowance is twelve thousand five hundred, and the dump body supplied by Viking Sims of Vermont is forty eight thousand six hundred dollars. And uh, there's a whole list of the specs as well. Okay. So, uh, what's the Total price with the trade in, 95? Mm -hmm. Yes. 95,242. Right, right. The budget is not more than 90,000, is that right? Uh, I believe that's correct. 
Yes, and that's not including the plow on that bid, so. Yeah. Um, waste one over or too much generation difference. I'm not sure. Okay, so. Um, so. Okay, so I'll just look that over and then get back to you in a few weeks. And then um, either we talk about it at the budget meeting if we have to go up because we haven't finalized the capital plan, right? Yeah, so if we need to go up higher, maybe we can talk about that. Yes, or maybe you could talk about talking them down. I don't know. Right, we, right. That's in this fiscal year, we can't change the capital plan. Um, it's in the budget we're coming to this term. We can't get it till after the budget. Is it? I thought it was this year. No. Okay. Well, are we expecting yeah. another bid? Um, they were notified. They did not get it in on time. So I, I am a believer. I think in going back out to bid. So then, um, or doing something to that effect. If we do not, if we decide not to go with this bid. Um, well, with with ninety five thousand, it, uh, it, it seems that the be be nice to have another bid, uh, right. uh, and it, it seemed to be room here to, uh, to uh, negotiate. I mean, that's a that's a big big number. Yes. Um, so when you go out to bid, usually um, you're hoping to get more than one bid, of course. Yeah. Um, and usually, you don't. Once you pick somebody, you're picking that price. You're not really negotiating. Um, I'm sure that you can maybe negotiate to be fair to all bidders. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's supposed to be the bid is the, um, the price they bid. I mean, either, either we uh, turn it down or we, um, I think other companies or other towns are even, um, since the truck market is so strange right now they're just going and going to one dealer and and working through it instead of going out to bid for the truck um, We're working through it means what exactly um i would say just coming up with negotiating okay like, that's what right. you're saying yeah. kind of you know you give them a price just like you or i do it or yeah Thank you. Hmm. Any other questions about the truck bid? So you're wait, just uh, you're saying, Lee, though, that you think that if we did send it out to bid again, you think that we could get two bids? Maybe uh -huh. because the deeper we go into the year, they'll know more as uh, far as when the trucks are getting built, availability. how much the discounts from municipalities is. Right now, there's, that's kind of up in the air, because sure. um, that's been getting lowered each quarter or by the year. Um, uh, so the person who was going to be who I actually went to the dealer and talked to them about the truck, um, uh, they were saying that they wouldn't be able to give a firm price anyways, because it's, you know, it's going to rock one way or the other, and they don't want to really lose. Um, and they want to give us the best deal they can. Um, so we got deeper into the year. The only problem with that is um, you end up getting the truck, you know, you could get the truck next January right. instead of in November. Um, right now, my, my thinking, just hearing that, is that we go out, back out to bid. Um, at a later date, and we we live with what we have, and we might have to um, run that truck longer into next winter um, in order to get a set price. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, we definitely gave that company uh, uh, more more time than what we usually do. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it seems like given the the market in the world right now, it's a it's a tricky yeah they don't <laughs> it's a tricky, know when the tricky thing to navigate. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Sounds like putting it out to bid again a little while might be a good Yeah, and I think I'd even wait um, another month um, and let things hopefully get under control as far as they might know when they're getting into 2023s. They might actually know how much they have to pay for them. Okay, um, that's good. That would be after our budget is finalized. Mm -hmm. So it makes seems reasonable to me in one way, but then <laughs> tougher in another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Well. Yeah, the way to look, I guess the way to look at it is um, like last year, we, I'm hoping we saved, um, well, anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars on the last truck, you know, it came under what we had set aside for the capital plan. So that fifteen thousand dollars got rolled back into the capital plan. Um, so, um, you know, if you have money in there, it's not necessarily all going to get spent. We're going to still try for the best deal we can. Um, it's just a matter of mm. if there's not enough money. I don't know. That, that, that sort of doesn't go well with my sense of, you know, budgetary or fiduciary responsibility for some reason. Yeah, you just, you just, I don't think anyone knows what the prices of the 2023 trucks are going to be. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just also curious, um, like, do you, do you think that is there a possibility that this is just the price now that this truck costs? Like, ha have we are we in a market where this is, like, we're not going to see such a drastically different number with another bid? Like, and and right. our budget thought should be closer in line with an increased price. I don't know. Right, and and to go along with that, the thing that seemed low to me was the trade-in value, the twelve thousand five hundred, I think it was. Um, I think that's very low, and that's why I asked Dodge today to look at our truck, that the one that we're going to be trading in, just so we could kind of come up with a, you know, what is fair for that price. If they were going to buy it outright from us um, without giving us a new truck, um, you know, what's that truck worth? And I should know it. I didn't check the emails when I got home tonight, so um, it might even be on the phone now. I, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But hopefully I'd have that number tomorrow. If if they do what they say, it doesn't always work that way. Um, but I should have a number from Dodge tomorrow, a rough they I a rough number. Okay. Because they'd be receiving that truck in the fall of next year. So they can't give you a real final number either. But the trade in value could be higher, which would be Right, or, or if we sold it outright instead of um, trading it in, you gain some there. Um, you're going to use the plow, or are you going to trade we're that We're planning on buying a new plow. So this price doesn't include a plow? Right, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. OK. Any other truck questions, discussion? Ready to move on to mileage? Okay, we have the mileage certificate from uh, the state, the 2022 mileage certificate. And uh, we just said that there are no changes from last year. Is that correct? So we could have a motion to uh, uh, sign the certificate of highway mileage the year ending February 10th. 2022. I'll make a motion that we sign the 2022 mileage certificate. I'll second that. Okay, any discussion? 
uh, our total, it, by the way, is 79 uh, miles, uh, yeah, just over 79 miles. And uh, we all signed this on the bottom of that page. So, any other, what, what else is going on in the highway department lately? Okay, I did meet with um, Scott Jensen the other day. He's the A and R for the rivers in the area to get some permits for FEMA. Um, FEMA said they're getting close to coming down and checking out the um, few projects that we have. Um, that would be Schoolhouse Road, the bank, um, Johnson's Curve Road, and um, Camp Arden Road. Um, on the project on Leonard Road, the structure, um, I'm trying to um, check for uh, different engineers in the area and uh, so we can get that engineered. Um, Wait, what was that? Uh, on Leonard Road, yep. the structure, we need to get that engineered. And uh, so doing some research on some other engineers also. Um, I would like to get it engineered so we could put it out to bid so then we could build it um, after July. Um, and then we've been uh, doing a bunch of maintenance, oil changes. And then the brakes on the backhoe needed to be replaced, so um, we did bring it up to a shop today, and uh, Tyler is helping them work on it up there. So, um, very good to done. Other than that, it seems like it's been ice storms. So the only thing that's new in that which the the board doesn't all know is that FEMA the question was Salmon Brook Schoolhouse Road whether that would be included and we did get a note down from Bob remember we said it was going to go up to the supervisor it has gone up to the supervisor and they do want to do a site visit when they come down on it so it's not out yet great so um so that's the the new news on FEMA but so we don't have a date yet Okay. Did you say you met with Scott uh, Jensen? From? Oh, what was that? Did you, did you say you met with Scott Jensen? Yes. Yes. Uh, On a couple smaller projects that we've already completed. Um, um, what we need is permits from him and the Army Corps in order to get paid through FEMA for those projects. Okay. So we're just trying to get the paperwork on those. Okay. Yeah. Right. Is the Leonard Road project done through a grant, or is that going to be done through the Structures Fund? No, uh, the engineering is through the Structures Fund, mm -hmm. um, which should have been done a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, and then the actual structure would be um, only if we get approved for the structure through the state. For the grant through the state? Sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'd be responsible for 10% on that. Okay. Really quickly, did we vote on the no, um, motion? Oh. I think we missed voting on the we motion the for the hiring oh, okay. mileage. Um, any more discussions? <laughs> uh, and this was for the highway <laughs> mileage certificate. Yeah. I was about to sign it. I was like, I don't think we agreed. Okay. So it's just happy. <laughs> um, all those in favor? Uh, aye. aye. All right. Now we can sign it. Good catch. Great. Good catch. Anything else for? Do you have anything else for us? I know. Okay. Okay. Uh, ready to move on to the correspondence for information. Is there anything there you'd like to discuss? So, uh, just to just to clarify. Um, we will have a special meeting next week and if we get any other petitions uh, or there's anything else that is finalized by tomorrow we'll be reviewing the the warm and 
the articles. Yeah. Okay. We'll review some, you know, what we have today. Sure. And we'll, you know, we take a vote uh, next week. Great. And we'll have to decide what day we're going to meet. So, all set for correspondence for information. Under correspondence for discussion and or action, uh, we had, uh, uh, let's see, at our last meeting we discussed uh, questions about the petition uh, article and uh, sent those questions to Bob Fisher, uh, our town attorney, and he sent responses back. So. So when do, when do we discuss? When do we decide on exactly how uh, we'll deal with that? Hmm. I guess when we get down to new business oh. uh, and the review of town, the town meeting warning. Okay, we can discuss. That. Uh, but the gist of it was um, uh, Bob Fisher confirmed that the petition as submitted or as it was written uh, is a non-binding advisory question. Yeah. And um, that was pretty much it. So, uh, okay. Uh, under new business, we have an update on the line of credit. Right. I talked to Charlotte. She's in hopes that by sometime early next week, I'll be able to sign the line of credit. It's different than doing the loan. We set up 200 up to 200,000. When you put all the paperwork and put all the numbers in, we're allowed with the line of credit to take out up to 178,000. So that's the only change from what it was when we said 200,000. It's just, but it's looking good and hopefully we'll have all the paperwork back so we can sign it next week. Okay, and that's to cover the cost of uh, the, FEMA. the July 29th yeah. storm and hopefully we'll get reimbursed uh, by FEMA. And it allows us the flexibility to be able to say we need this amount should we need it rather than the full loan of a fixed amount, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. And it's a short, it's a, it's a short yeah. term. Long. One year. Yeah. yeah. One year. It has yeah. to be paid back in a year. Right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Um, in our, the budget that we're uh, looking to approve soon, finalize, uh, we put in a line item for a clerical assistant for the listers. And um, that would have started if it was approved, um, it would start in our next fiscal year. But we're going to have uh, one of the listers is sort of on vacation for a while. So uh, we've budgeted money that's not going to be used. So there is a thought that, well, perhaps we could uh, put it out there that uh, we'd be looking for uh, someone to help with the listers. Right. Uh, listers are an elected position, but this would be an appointed one. For clerical type help yeah. to learn kind of the, the ropes, a little bit of it. Yep. Yep. yep, and it could possibly be good training for someone good training. who might want to become a lister. Right, because uh, <laughs> we have one lister that's not planning on, you know, it's retiring. Yep. Um, so, uh, what do people think? Want to go ahead and put this out and see if we get some interest? Of, you know? I think we. Can I do think it would be good. Yeah. I think good idea. Okay. I think we put it on the website. Have put it on the website anyway. And sure. Yeah. Yeah. Any of our public interested in a clerical position with the listeners? At the moment. Okay, right. Uh, or if you have a friend, you yeah. know, uh, let them know. Right. Okay, so. Um, do you want to do more of a FEMA update? That was really the biggest update, I think, Lee, was the fact that we got the notification for the 
Salmon Brook, it wasn't canceled out. And we'll, I mean, it's, we'll just have to wait for the site inspection. I don't think there's anything, uh, Charlotte's working hard to upload this stuff for the, for the end of the week. I think she's got that pretty well wrapped up from today. It's getting closer. So that'll take care of the, I think the A and the B categories. The next question is, is how long will it take to get the reimbursement? But that's really where we're at right now is the next, this next stage is the site inspection. Then those are for longer projects. Okay. Great. Okay, ready to move on. So next on our agenda is the review of the town meeting warning. And Maria's printed out a draft we have so far. Everyone has a copy. Yep. So I guess that going down is pretty much boilerplate mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, Looks like that Article 5, where we're going to ask for 90,000 uh, mm -hmm. capital funds a little up in the air right at the moment. Are we, is she still planning on doing the polling at the, uh, the church? No, I talked to Lori today and she is considering doing it at the town office. Okay. But again, we're waiting for the- We're waiting for the governor to sign. signature to sign that bill. So, told me that she was going to use the tabulator? If that's the case, then she didn't say that to me, but if that's the case, then she could easily do it at the town office. Okay. Yeah. And I think she also, if this all goes through with the Australian ballot, she'd like us to just say if you would like a absentee ballot to either call or... By request. By request only. And I think that'll probably have to be wrapped up into next week's if we can get the governor to sign this. Yeah. It's it's going to be a. Yeah. What is that? Uh, do you do you have any information on why Laura said that? Like why we wouldn't send a ballot to everybody versus the request? I don't. I think she thinks it would be m monetarily wise. I was going to say my I guess is the cost. The cost. Okay. Maybe we could get a cost from Laura and see what that would what the cost would be to send them to everybody. I think it would probably also be the time, too. Yeah, and my guess is probably the budgets. Pretty much between budget up. and time. But you, I mean, you're, go ahead. You could more than welcome to talk okay. to Lori and ask yeah. her for the next week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Um, so that is, okay, yeah, don't, not jumping ahead. Um, so the petition that we received uh, for the uh, urging the sheriff to change policy regarding the fair and impartial policing policy, um, that we, let's see, we have options of what we can do, but if we wanted to, we can put that, vote to put that as an article up here. Um, we talked about possibly having it be a separate ballot, but when I spoke with Lori, she said her preference was to have it as a, on uh, the warning, that as just a regular article that would be um, uh, there'd be uh, lines stating that this is a non-binding advisory question. Um, again, it was the cost of having a separate ballot that would have to be uh, programmed for the tabulator. Yeah. So that, that sounds like a reasonable approach. That, that was her preference. And, uh, so, and Bob Fisher had said that we could have it on our regular warning and just put, this is a non-binding question, advisory question. So it wouldn't actually be numbered as Article 12, it would just be 
the next item. We, I um, think we could do that. We could have Article 11, we could have, and then uh, the next question, uh, non-binding question, and then have that, and have the box yes or no right. to check. Okay. And we can find out if we've had to have, you know, Article 12, or can we just have it? We probably want to run the warning past the attorney again before um, we, yeah. before it went to print. print. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Concur. Concur. Yeah, we're all good with that. Um, ready to move on? Uh, uh, next on our agenda is approval of voting on all articles for town meeting by Australian ballot. We can't do it. We can't do it. Yeah, we can't do it yet. And, hmm. The reason we can't do it, just remind me. We don't have the Well, the government power. hasn't given us the, I mean, we can make it, it Did, we can make a motion, it, but it's all going to be based on if the governor signs it. Oh, it hasn't been signed. I thought I read something today. It's been pretty. Not as of 4 o'clock. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's still sitting on his it's desk. It's still sitting on his desk. Oh, okay. So, we could do a uh, motion. If the governor signs. Contingent upon. Yes, on the governor's signature, we'll do this. Or, uh, and then we could ratify it perhaps at our next meeting. Or we could just hold off. Yeah. It doesn't really, it's not, it doesn't really matter. We're going to have a meeting next week anyway, so we can, we can hold off till then. Right? There's no. I, I mean, there's. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Another item, Lori said the sooner she knows, the better. But we, it's still based on, yeah. even if we voted on it tonight, yeah. it's still based yes. on if the governor doesn't do it, then it doesn't, you know what I mean? That could be three days from now before we hear. An informal poll of members, <clears throat> a non, <clears throat> non binding advisory well. <laughs> polling. Um, what, what do you think of going to Australian ballot for? Oh, I would be in favor. I'm in favor. favor of it. Okay, great. Right. We can let Lori know that had we taken a vote, <laughs> that's how it would have gone. Right. Okay. Um, let's see. That's, that's all, all of the items on our Agenda. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Is there any other business? <laughs> okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second.